dog-based. Enjoying the dog days of summer, just before school starts back in my part of the world. For most, for most young people, I am no longer a full young person. I am an older man, withered. Yo, this song is really good. I just quoted something. I don't know if you know what I quoted. So I don't think I'm gonna beat him this time. Because I, I know I have to take some damage from him. I'd have to play flawlessly, and that would require me trying to play outplay him. And I don't feel like that's going to be a winning game. So I'm just gonna like. Yeah. Can't wait to get the armor. This armor is flimsy. Does he take less damage overall in the second game? I feel like he takes less damage overall. He has the dash boots, like, pre installed. Victory pose. Add here. You got electric spark. Gold. Gold on silver. I wonder if there's like something special about these colors. Like, are these the colors that Mega Man was in his first game? I mean, I know the theme isn't because they changed to animals from just like elements. Got the heart easier. So I can get the E tank. Probably can't get the uh Actually no, I could get the heart, maybe. If I'm good enough. Don't think I am though. I have faith in myself, but I used to be able to be more cuts. Like I used to do that jump like very often. My friend showed me, the friend who I keep talking about, they all have him on the show in these days. Like he showed me that jump and it's just like, oh man. I should quit move.
wish I could think about playing Star Fox, because this game makes me think about Star Fox a lot, like as a classic uh, Super Nintendo game, even though it's not first party. This game feels like a first party. Uh, that's the whole thing about Capcom and why it pisses a lot of people off about what's going on at Capcom these days. Like, it is, it is a shit show with them. Like, it's always, like, five steps forward, twenty steps back. Like, don't get it. And by that I mean, like, okay, there's a game that, I don't know if I've been mentioning it throughout my Let's Plays, but I'm not gonna stop talking about it because I want this game so badly to, like, like, just be a thing. Like, I just want it to, I just want it to be poor, I just want, um, it's Monster Hunter. Like, I, like, so many people have fallen in love with Monster Hunter recently, and it's so stupid that Capcom refuses just to, like, port on the 3DS version of Monster Hunter Stories to Switch. And other, like, it's already on, I, apparently it's already on cell phones, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what? Why is it already on a cell phone and not on Switch? Why would it not be on more things? Why would, wh who, who, who decided that was a good idea? Who decided phone was better than the Switch? Why, why would anyone, you could do so many things with a Switch version, you wouldn't even be losing anything by having a Switch version. In fact, in fact, it would only bolster things for a Switch release for the Monster Hunter, um, my favorite, but, like, I haven't started playing Monster Hunter uh, Freedom Reborn yet, but I'm going to, because... Because I finally got my, I finally upgraded my computer, and I can finally play lots of sick, amazing games like that on the channel. So I'm probably gonna start doing Monster Hunter uh, Freedom episodes. But oh, and I'll get to that when I get to that. Wow, I almost had him, and I died. But um, I'm looking forward to playing Monster Hunter, especially because I don't know exactly what I should be doing to do that well, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. I'm looking forward to it. The more I think about it, I'm just like really excited about playing that game because now that I, it's taken, in the midst of this whole COVID-19, guys, like there's have, there's been some pretty sad things that have happened to people I love in this life. And I know it's tough. I know it's hard, but like I got, I actually had the time to build my like PC that I'm going to use to do a lot more of my work. And I'm a multimedia designer, and I've been doing this for a pretty long while. And I've never had like a computer this good, and it's all because of the job that I currently have and I'm uh, being employed where I currently work. Um, shout outs to uh, my workplace and the people I work with. They're really great people. Um, it sucks that COVID has taken so much from people, it sucks that it's done so much harm, uh, divided so many on like whether or not it's a whole, like whether, like how people treat disease, sickness, health, those in need, people who have disabilities, special requirements, special needs, like I was hoping more people would become more aware about other people who have like who have but it seems like people like it seems like when you look online um people are less understanding less forgiving and but if you but you gotta you gotta like that's the thing about life for the good things in life you have to work for them and you have to hunt for them and sometimes just to hear something positive i will spend countless countless time uh reading through comment sections of things I would probably better, my significant other would tell me that I would be better off not uh, participating or listening to or uh, spending my time on, but it all depends, like, how you feel about it. But I strongly also recommend that if you are somebody who is going through the, a similar situation as me about that, um, get away from the computer, please. Get away from social media. I promise you people are not as vile as people make it out to be. Like, I know people are pretty vile, but 
I want, I don't want you to feel like that's got to be the defining feature of like your gener of whoever you are, your generation, or this generation in general. I'm not of the interest in giving up on people at all. Not any, like, not anymore, and not in the sense of like forgiving anything and everything. I mean, we, there's, sorry, I'm trying to get this heart piece and having a heartfelt talk about it at the same time. I feel like I can, I can get it, so just give me a second here. But I feel like um, my point is that if you're feeling discouraged, there's always a way to look at things from a positive aspect, because there's always a lesson. That's what my significant other always tells me. Always going on about how there's it's always there's always something you can learn. I always personally look at optimism and the fact that there's always something to be gained, or there's always something to glean, or like looking on that like you know silver linings but it's a thousand ways to say the same thing um things were bad things are still not great but there is plenty of opportunity more so now for things to get better because we're much more aware because uh, we're having more conversations that we weren't having before and i think that's important i think the fact that everything is becoming more brought up is helping matters, not worsening them, because we're talking about things more. It's not about people being thin-skinned or not. People always had these opinions that they've always had, which has been more like ability to like actually have an opinion on them that like people will listen to because they have no choice; they can't ignore you. Ready. How much did I use? Hope oh, I don't. Sorry, sorry if, I, if you guys heard me knock the table a second ago. Just gotta sign back into my computer because I don't want my computers to go on standby and then recording stops. Dang it. I heard that. You probably heard that click. Sorry. Okay. Let's take him on. I know this game has an internal timer. Timing down. Oof. Because I had no more weapons energy left except for that last hit. So, good. Good. Victory pose. Swing out here. You got rolling shield. The secret hidden weapon of the game. It's like the pink one is the one that will save the day. Like, hey, why would I want to be a pink Mega Man? It's like, hey, this pink Mega Man is going to save the day. Tch, yeah, right. Think you're out to launch on that one, Chief? Launch Octopus. Ready. That, oh my, thanks already for. Now, if I recall correctly, there are two, how many secrets are on this level? Pretty sure there's only just the heart container. I think. Not even sure anymore. Such a such a forgettable song, but such a very such an iconic level. But such a because the physics in this level are so different because they're space jumpy. Such an innovative game. I just love it. 
Capcom, what happened? Why do you think it's okay to have some... See, I remember I was just getting excited about uh, Monster Hunter, and I then I, I remember Capcom, because it's like, Capcom. Why Capcom? Why do you make good things like Monster Hunter Freedom? And yes, now I can play Monster Hunter Freedom, so it's like, calm down, you have more than enough Monster Hunter because you have Monster Hunter Freedom to play. Like, my friend, who has been playing that, is probably going to be like super jazzed that I'm going to start playing it, and I'm going to get Iceborne, and I'm going to get all the DLC, probably, going forward. And that's all well and good. But I mean, I, I, really, I really just think that they should port um, stories. To switch, I just really think that should happen. I don't, I don't get, why. I don't get why it's not happening. I don't get why it's ha why it hasn't happened. I don't get what's hard about it. It's already on cell phones. Like you know what else was on cell phone? It's not great, but uh, actually, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, um, world ends with you. But then it made it triggered my memory of like Square Enix because Neku's hair and Chrono's hair are both orange, which red. So I was like, oh wait a minute, it's like, is Chrono Trigger on Switch? And it's not. At least I don't think it is. And if it is, then it's probably bad. Because that last I checked, it was bad. Because the last I last I checked, the PC version was bad. And since that one was supposedly like the just the um, very crappily done mobile version. Uh, yeah, people are not people are not thrilled. So I hope they have the good sense to just port the um, the DS version and just like find some quality of life changes there that they can take advantage of that can make it worth the while of the consumer. Because that's all people are ever asking for. Just think about the consumer when you're trying to make a purchase. Oh, sorry, when you're making a product. What is more affordable gets into more people's hands. Uh, now, Sea Dragon. This is the secret strat. I did not know if there were spikes there. Run on a dragon. Oh. Where'd you go? Like a beast. Leviathan. I don't even really understand its attack pattern. I do understand it's, it is trying to hurt me. But it doesn't have like I'm glad it doesn't have projectiles because if this thing had a projectile, it'd be out of this world hard. Gotcha. Oh, nice, stylish, impressive, strong. Army strong, Mark strong. It was a gentleman's rant. For almost forgot gentleman's rant reference. It's been a while since I've watched them. It's been a while since they've uploaded, probably. Oh, they got a show. Last I checked, that was some classically good uh, blue collar comedy. Now, where are you, second dragon? Come out here so that I may defeat you! Oh man. I have a lot of plans for this channel, guys. I, I haven't played it. At this moment, I haven't finished or started Sonic the Hedgehog 1 yet. Still 
editing and catching up with the fact that I just finished building my new computer. So, you'll have to wait, but I have big plans for future games like Monster Hunter World Freedom. Like I said though, I'm not sure how that's going to go. It might be sometimes I'm with my pal, he bought me the game. Sometimes I might be solo. Depends on how much time I have before COVID ends for me in terms of end, and I, it's not a vacation. And I mean like going back to work. That's how I'm looking at everything. Like this is what great current like until I have um uh work setting again in any capacity, I figure that I should use this opportunity to make my YouTube channel and get as much content as possible done and out there before I have to get into a good well, get into a good work schedule and then get into a good work schedule while doing this at the same time. And before I had to change my computer, I was working out pretty well. But I'm still doing some stuff, I'm still tweaking some stuff, I'm still fine-tuning my system. For, for example, I keep having situations where I am still, I'm losing video, I'm losing footage. And that's no good. So I think I have a solution, at least for in my head. I'm going to get another USB hub and I'm going to connect multiple SD cards and uh, port recording devices. Should help make things easier for me. At least in the terms of uh, being able to not be missing content. <laughs> Not so hard when I know how to dash away from your tornado and I can remember like your jump pattern. So I can always nail you with it when you're not invincible or taking hit frames. You know, this game is constructed like a fighting game because you have to read the pattern and hit them into a loop. You have to give them an endless loop so that they're like basically that's the whole precision thing of like X's copyability. The ability to find that one opening and continuously deal damage into their weak spot and destroy them. Now, I don't remember if there were any secrets in Launch Octopus' stage. I know they're Boomer Kawanger. I think there's two. I know the heart piece, I don't get, I can't get the heart until I actually beat Boomer. I forgot, I already forgot what the one in here is. The other, the other, uh, goody. But like I was saying before, like, yeah, there's lots of games I want to play on this channel. Now that everything is going to be, like, on the, on the up and up. No more self-doubt. No more holding back because there's no such thing as ready. There's only trying. What? I was like, what? Wow, he turned around. He doesn't usually turn around. That was that was weird. Oh, why am I talking like I'm an actual master at this game? I am not a master. Out of here. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Those bombs, man. Now I know that I can shoot through that wall. It's not a... It's a raised ground, but it, you can still shoot through it. Wow, even in death.
Darn it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I need an enemy to destroy. Unhelpful, such unhelpful enemies. Such unhelpful enemies. Such unhelpful enemies. Such disappointments. I was hold I was holding out hope. I believed in them. Nope, they can't give me what I want. I'm just a hit away. Oh, slower on the draw. That's how you need a mutual end. Oh yeah, man. There's so many games I'm gonna play. Cannot wait. Gotta set up my controller as well. On my PC. Gotta get that that DS3. You're like, why, why don't you have DS4? And it's like, uh, don't worry about that. I don't have a PS4, first of all. It's like, why would I say don't worry about that and then tell you anyway? Anyway, yeah, I don't have that. I didn't buy a PS4. Not really looking. Look, I don't probably. I probably don't need one. Especially considering that there is going to be a cheaper PS5. I haven't bought any games. And I was going to buy a lot of games on the cheap, but it might just be cheaper to buy them digitally on the uh, digital only console. Might as well just do that. And it's like, no, you're feeding into the into the digital age thing where you don't own your actual content, but it's like, we're already going there. They're already making, like, if they make physical copies of stuff that I, that still carry physical media, like Nintendo cares. Nintendo loves you buying their collectible stuff. That's why they they still make uh, physical copy games. They want proprietary hard. They want proprietary uh, control over their games because they're not just um, electronic uh, sales. They're they're a toy. They're a toy slash game company. Their whole bread and butter is making the hardware that runs the software. Their toy box uh, games are play. If, I don't know what how Sega would go about doing things now. People have been rumoring that Sega might be coming back. But I don't know if that's going to be true because like to get in and out, to regain all the trust that you lost when you walking away from everything the way they did, like there's not much room for people to be like, oh yeah. Also, I have E-Tanks.